All right, guys, so let's talk about our applied pressure test, okay? Our applied pressure test starts with the applied pressure test setup, all right? When we run through the setup, we go through all of our steps, and we get out, we chalk the tires, we get back in, put our seatbelt on. The last thing that we have to do in the applied pressure test setup is release our brakes. Now you know that to start the applied pressure test setup, we have to have full air. As we can see on our gauges, they are at full air. So after we're done chalking the tires, we're going to get out. We're gonna, uh, or we're gonna get back in the truck, put our seatbelt on. The last part we have to do is release our brakes, which means we push in our tractor and trailer spring brakes. When you do that, you are gonna see these gauges drop, okay? You need to wait till the gauges both stabilize, they'll both drop together, all right? Once they have stabilized right about there, you'll hear the hissing has stopped, okay? And the gauges are not moving. All right, gauges have stabilized. That completes the applied pressure test set up, okay? Next is the applied pressure test. And like we say, after my initial air loss, I should lose no more than 4 PSI in a combination vehicle. I should lose no more than 3 PSI in a single vehicle. So then you'll put your foot on the brake, you'll step on the brake, and you'll wait for that initial air loss, okay? So when you step on the brake, you're going to see both of your gauges slant down again, okay? Both of them will move down. That is your initial air loss. Once the gauges have stabilized there, then you will start counting to 60, okay? and you'll make sure that your gauges aren't moving, okay? You can lose no more than four PSI. Now remember, four PSI is about this much movement of the needle, okay? It's about this much, that's about four PSI. So if you're sitting there and you see that needle move down, just, you know, that little gap space, that's four PSI. That's when you would call the test unsuccessful, all right? So the needle, do not let the needle sit there and, you know, you, you keep it going and going. That's way, that's a, look at the big loss you got there, you know. So, all right, so that's how we do our applied pressure test.